hello guys and welcome to my channel the first thing i'm going to start with is this e6000 i'm going to be making a perfume bottle with all this stuff and it's going to be so easy um i got this from family dollar and i got the crowd box from dollar tree um everything is a dollar in dollar tree so yeah that comes from dollar tree and then i got the paint from home depot um i think it was like four dollars and then i got the glue those hot glue sticks they came from family dollar also these little murals they're all from dollar tree and that's all you're gonna need in order to make um the mirror bottle it's that simple oh one more thing um the little box back here um is this a cut out of an old box that i had a melon box or you can use like a cardboard or whatever you have around the house that's hard you can even use like a board or just make sure your measurements are right i use boards because i can cut them to whatever size i want but it's all up to you whether what you want to use for your background as long as it's hard like you don't want anything that's like soft it's gonna bend so this is all i use so let's get started okay guys the next thing i'm gonna do is take the little thingies off the back like those have to be off because if you don't take them off they're not gonna stick so what i'm doing is just taking them off because i want my whatever i'm gluing on the back of these murals i want them to lay flat so just remove them and then you start your project once you remove all of them okay so the next thing you do is get your e6000 and you start to glue the back of them you glue on the back you don't have to put that much i don't use that much but i put a good amount because i don't want it to come off so then i get the glue gun over here the glue gun um i use a lot of glue because it's instant it's you know the other stuff the e6000 takes a long time for it to dry so i just do this on each one of them i'm gonna be using this for the bottle top um it has these little things on the back and i gotta figure out how to remove them so bear with me i am about to place this part on to the actual mural I gotta find something to keep it stable at the back while it dries and I'm gonna turn the fan on it. What I'm gonna use is a picture frame, which I am gonna do a project with this picture frame too. Um, but right now I'm gonna use this to hold it up. Um, now I am putting the E6000 on the back of it. I'm gonna put a whole lot on it because this part really needs to stick really good i am putting some hot glue around the e6000 and remember you gotta be fast like okay this is isn't the finished product um because later on in the video i'm gonna glue this on the back and then i'm gonna paint the back because i needed to set up I was gonna hang it. You can hang it as a mural, but I want mine to set up, so I'm gonna glue this on the back of it. So guys, after you let it dry for a whole day, uh, remember these little phone boxes? I cut them in half because I'm, I'm making actually two. So I so I'm not gonna put um the E600 on this. I'm gonna put the hot glue on this, and all this is is. For it. all I'm using this for is to make it stand up once I set it up. Um, so I'm going to take my hot glue gun, smash it, and release the glue out of it like that. It shouldn't take that much. Then I am going to Make sure it's even. Put it right there in the box. Hold it down for a few minutes. It don't have to be perfect. 
shouldn't take that long for it to dry. Okay, now I'm in my backyard. Go ahead and start spraying this. Here's the finished look. Thanks for watching, guys. All these ideas came from Dazzling Design by Denise. I love her channel, and I hope you guys enjoy my 